Well, it's uh, springtime here in New Jersey, April 1st, um, 2017. Um, one of the projects we're going to be working on this spring is uh, for an Irwin 38, 1986 center cockpit. Is uh, I've noticed uh, when the, um, I'm anchored and uh, the boom is hanging from the topping lift, and you get a little bit of motion, what happens is the boom tends to quite a bit move around. It kind of gyrates around. It's constantly tugging on the, um, the, the uh, main sheet, uh, and it vibrates and moves around quite a bit. And that's just a mild, uh, you know, mild motion. So uh, what I decided to do, what I had done on the last Irwin that I owned, was to make a boom gallows and... Um, Install it on the boat, and this way, when the mast, uh, when the boom is, uh, the sail is down, the boom rests in the gallows. So, I'm going to go through very quickly. This is going to be a, a several-part uh, video. The first part will be uh, show you what I did so far. Uh, first thing I did was I picked up. Um, um, I'm using mahogany because it's a lot easier to get than it is teak. So I picked up uh, a plank of mahogany that's three quarters of an inch thick. By eight feet long and this is oak which I've done before usually they use holly but that's hard to get so this is the same thing three-quarter and what I did was um, I made a drawing of what I wanted to do and I'll show you that here's the drawing what the plan is is to create uh, a gallows that is shaped like this and it's going to have a four and a half inch, four to four and a half inch rise in the in the bow of it. And the gallows is three inches thick by two and a half inches wide. So what the plan was is uh, this way when the, um, it's above the dodger in Bimini. When the, when the mass, the boom is down. And um, this way it, uh, it clears everything. So what I did was I needed to have a strong back. And this is a, a two by eight. Uh, and this is eight feet long. And um, I took a batten, the other half of it's laying over. I took a batten and I drove a nail in here, the center, and then that end, and I bowed the batten to give me that radius I wanted for four and a half inches. And then I drew a line and then I cut it out with a, a saber saw to give me this arc. And uh, at that point in time, um, I used a West uh, epoxy and I. Um, Put west on both surfaces here, and I clamped them together, and I pulled it in. And it took a, it took a, a few. You know, you keep on positioning clamps. You pull it in, and you put another clamp in. You pull it in, because it's quite a bit of uh, deflection you're trying to you're trying to give it. To do all four at once would have been very challenging. It, it's uh, it puts a lot of pressure on things. So I decided to do two. I'll do a third one in here, and then I'll finally do the last one. So it just makes it easier. And then I used a rubber mallet. Um, I used the, the the wood bench, and this this strong back is actually screwed to the wood bench. There is wax paper underneath it, and that's so the epoxy doesn't stick to the wood bench. Uh, the epoxy is not going to stick to this strong back because there's no epoxy against it. Yeah, the first seam is here, which is away from it. Then I used the rubber mallet, and as I was tightening, I was banging down on the. Uh, on the wood to keep it aligned, to keep it straight, and make sure it was flat against the bench. And this will um, sit like this for tonight, and then uh, or today, actually, it's, it's around noon time. Uh, tomorrow, I'll probably um, take the clamps off and do a second one, and um, put the second one on again, epoxy it. So now I'm only pulling in one board, as compared to try to pull two boards. And it's easier, it would be nice to be able to do all layup at once, but uh, that's very difficult because it uh, puts a lot of pressure on things and it's hard to clamp it in. So this method takes a little longer, but uh, it's a little bit easier with the clamps. Uh, then what will happen is once this is laid up and cured, I'll run it through the uh, planer uh, to get the desired um, thickness that I want. The um, other part of where this mounts has already been fabricated. It's stainless steel. It's uh, two vertical poles with kind of U, uh, U brackets uh, on the top of it, and uh, you'll see that uh, as this project progresses along. So that's it for this particular um, layup, and um, we'll shoot another video when I do the other two, and then when I finally release it from the um, clamps, you'll see the shape of it. Uh, and uh, there'll be um, 
uh, it's probably three three uh, kind of shallow cutouts in here. Uh, that's so the boom can sit in it. You know, you, you have to have some place for the boom to rest. So you basically just dish it out a little bit. I use a belt sander and I kind of kind of sand in a, a, a cup area um, so the boom rests on that area. And I put three. I put one in the center and uh, one on each side off about 18 inches so the boom can offset just to get it out of the way to the center if you want to if you want to do anything so it's not dead center. You could even put one out further, which I may do. This way, when I uh, put the cell cover on, um, the boom will rest on the gallows and it won't move around and I can zip the cell cover on. So I'll probably have um, a, a few more than just three uh, because it's just easier to put the cell cover on when the boom is not hanging from the topping lift and swinging around. So that should do it for this video and uh, until the next one.